Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rosalinda. Hola, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you for coming back. As you can see, we are here doing another grocery haul video. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos. I love making them. They tend to be a little chaotic when there's a lot of people at the store but today we are going to sprouts a little bit earlier so i think there's going to be less people which would be better for us and this particular video you guys already know that a sprout is our primary store we get there we get everything from there our protein our veggies our fruits milk eggs yogurt you know all that good stuff that you need for the week and for the most part i want to say that monday through friday we eat in the house or meals that i make for sure breakfast and lunch i make which you know i send him with his breakfast in the morning and he has his lunch in the afternoon at work and then for dinner it always varies but it's definitely always something that i make or which you know, just likes to have his simple pasta uh, before he goes to work or just in the afternoon and then me, I'm a little bit more simple. Like I'll have, you know, I don't need to like always have like a protein meal. Like I can have yogurt or some fruit or something. But um, this week we are getting more than just our weekly groceries because those tend to be the same. And I feel like I've talked to you guys about it and those, you know, the same, the same, you know, not to be too repetitive or boring, but it's always going to be like milk, eggs, fruit, vegetables, some kind of protein, whatever I need for breakfast, whatever I need for lunch, for Wichito's lunch. That's what we tend to get most of the time. But this time around, we need to replenish some stuff in the fridge that lasts longer and in the pantry as well. So we are getting a few things that'll probably last, you know, I would say three to a month, you know, three weeks to a month time in the fridge or the pantry. So it'll, it'll be a bigger haul and I'll show you guys all my favorite brands and what i tend to get from there i hope that you guys like it but yeah so this one i feel like i have sprinkled a little bit of um of hauls from sprouts here and there when you know when it's like a day in my life or a weekend in my life i have shown you guys so sorry if it seems a little repetitive but this is going to be like a bigger haul of more things that we're going to get of course i'll give you the price and yeah it'll be fun so come along you guys will see when i'm at the store and then we'll do a big haul at the end which has been on a salad kick for his lunch lately and that's all he's been eating he's so it's because he used to get the other salads and i was like those are bad so i make him his salads now but he gets different uh protein every time but i'll show you guys how i make it it's very very simple so i think i'm gonna take some bacon today so let me see so this is the bacon that i get i love this brand applegate it's so good no sugar no nitrates anything and i like the organic one so i get this one however they just brought this new brand and this one's also good it's a dollar less and it's also organic so i think i'm gonna take this one for today it's also a really good brand you guys see that i get these at costco we can get them here but obviously for this price might as well just get them at costco um, and then this brand is also applicated. I, like I said, it's pretty good. They have different flavor stuff. Um, probably for like, you know, your breakfast, that'll be good. But they do have like these hot dogs. If you're craving a hot dog, these are good, organic, $7.99. And I also saw another brand last time, but I don't see it. This one's good too. But again, you can get these at Costco, bigger packages, and you know, you get more for your money. You know, one thing why, I really stick to Sprouts is because they have a lot of um, selection in their meats and then they have organic, they have all natural, which that usually means no antibiotics um, and then they have grass fed and they have free range. So I love that they have a different mixture of everything. Like even for the red meat alone, they have the the grass fed and then they have the usda i usually don't get that i tend to stay with the grass fed so these and then they have organic they also have lamb if you're into that we we're kind of nay about it but they also have turkey like all this other turkey the sprouts brand you can get organic or none and for chicken they have a lot of options they have this organic air chill this from sprouts i usually get this one or i get the other one is over there but from the sprouts brand they have this like free range chicken um all it says all natural i usually just get the eight dollar pack which is pretty good that's what i'm going to take today these are also two good brands they're not organic but they're slow growth so that means that they're probably roaming around um 
in, in like a small grand, like a small farm. These like tend to be smaller farms and then right now it's buy one get one half off but these are also a good option. This one and Wichiro got this meat for his salads. He got apples, baby carrots. And this is my favorite shredded cheese. So I love this one for basically everything girl but for quesadillas it's really good. So I get this this one and then for Wichito I get this one for his salads and Organic Valley I love this brand so good you guys already know my love for these tortillas I get the organic ones but they have original regular um, like non-organic but I get these and they're on sale right now so I'm gonna get two they're so good you guys and this is the bread that Wichito gets and remember I think it's this one um food for life I started remember at um Walmart is cheaper but it's still pretty good. We get this one, but they do have different ones. Low sodium sesame, cinnamon raisin, flax, but um, Wichiro tends to like this orange one, the flower, flourless. Another thing that I love about Sprouts is they have so much organic stuff like throughout the whole place, which that gives you more options to pick what you want. But like I mentioned before, like we tend to just stick to mainly everything organic. Um, since I know it's not everything's like in the dirty dozen or, and stuff, but it's just I think it just takes a guessing game and I'm like nah, just get like everything like all my produce organic to works out and I love that here They basically have almost everything organic so I love or like an option of organic or not You're gonna go? I just added the papaya, the organic papaya and organic um, mushroom that I love about sprouts as well is that they have so many different options for pasture raised eggs. They have their own, which we usually get, and then this brand also, which this is how I started with the pasture raised. But look, today they have this sale, so I'm gonna take two of these, which are the pasture raised. But usually we get their brand, which is still pretty good for $4.99. This one, they're $4 right now, so we'll get some, but they also have the organic pasture raised. They have other brands, and they also have the hard boil, so I love their options. And here's the other options of other eggs as well. They have regular or they just have like cage free and the regular white one. So this whole area, I love all the options that they offer. And these are Wichiro Baritas for his lunch. And then here where I get these baritas, they have other ones with simple meals in this area is pretty good. But then here they have all these other snacks. Like these are pretty good, which I showed you guys at a Walmart. They also have them. These are good, but sometimes, from time to time, you can get these and these at Costco. They just don't always have them, so it kind of sucks. But these, this right here is a good selection and clean, um, like, you know, little barritas, I would say. And then we already know, I already told you guys, most creamers are bad because they still have cane sugar. So, you know, I guess you kind of have to pick where you're going to have your cane sugar from. But this one so far has been really good. It's just sweet cream, but they have other flavors now. They have a hazelnut and a vanilla. If you guys want to try it. But they also have grass-fed um, half and half, organic half and half. That's also a good option. These are the other flavors, but this one's the one we get. But they have vanilla and hazelnut in this organic one. And these are the ingredients. It still has cane sugar, but it's just going to be the organic milk and the cream. And that's it. Mine. Oops. <laughs> they do have natural flavors from the banana or the hazelnut. So. It really depends on to you. This one doesn't have any natural flavors. So. We have more creamers here, but again, they all either have natural flavors or they have oils. This one, the layer one, is so good, but it's not creamy. So I think that would be my only thing or like sweet enough. So it really depends on your taste. But they do have a lot more options for like organic and then um, a little bit cleaner. And then you guys already know we love mock, so I usually always just get one unsweetened and one vanilla. Right now they're buy one get one half off, so I'm gonna take one and one. I also love the selection of yogurts, like this is all yogurts and they have big tubs as well. I like my yogurt um, dairy free, so I either get that one or this one, but Kalina is actually the best one because it's dairy free, but it's Thick. like it's like actual real yogurt and it has probiotics and it's so good like I just love the consistency of it so I usually get two of these little ones and I mix it with other stuff like with berries seeds you know all that good stuff and another thing another yogurt that I like but this is not like for daily cons this is not like a regular yogurt 
this one, the, um, the coconut colt, is also dairy free. They have other options. I get the little one, but they have the strawberry, the original, and then the bigger um, jars. This one is more like for your stomach, like probiotics. And it has so many that they only recommend for you to have one tablespoon a day, which I love. So I only have one tablespoon and that's it. And then here's where they have um, more of the bigger tubs of like regular grass-fed um, dairy yogurt. So if you make yogurts a lot, like yogurt bowls, or you put them in your smoothies, like this would be a better option than the little ones that I showed you guys. Um, but I really just like, I don't like dairy for my yogurt for yeah for my yogurt i like it dairy free i don't know i don't like having aftertaste you know when you have dairy you have like a milky aftertaste i feel like that's how i get with yogurt and that's how i get with kefir but kefir is really good like if you can do it it's good i feel like i just supplement with other probiotics that i don't need to get kefir um like that yogurt that i told you guys the coconut cold you only need one tablespoon and you're good for your probiotics for the day for the day with that one tablespoon so i like to get that one so i don't have to do kefir because it does give you like an aftertaste so this is also a good aisle that i like to get stuff from so midday squares is a really good functional bar that gives you energy and then keeps you mindful so if you're hungry it kind of like helps you like like it kind of um stops your hunger but it has really good ingredients so i like to get those whenever they're on sale so they're two for five i'll get two the cookie dough is my favorite and then these they recently just changed their ingredients and now they use um i think avocado oil or olive oil but they used to use canola oil that they don't anymore so the perfect bar is good they do have them at costco though this is the butter section we usually just get the grass fed from sprouts but Kerrygold is really good remember i was showing you guys at um, walmart so see like here's 6.99 i think it was a little cheaper at walmart oh 4.99 so it's a better price but they have regular and then they have this one which is also organic this one's organic as well but i like the grass fed but they have so much more options as well when it comes to like cream cheese and that and the butter i get this cream cheese from nancy because it has probiotics as well as their sour cream right here this one i love this one because it has probiotics and it has really good ingredients and it's organic so nancy's also a good brand if you're into cottage cheese they have it here i haven't tried this raw butter i do but Girl, that $16.99 is deterring me. If you have a sweet tooth or Miss Flo comes around, I know that we tend to like crave chocolate. This cube bar is so good, so clean, and they actually taste really good. Most of it is dark chocolate, but look at what um, their ingredients. So they say no, none of this stuff. They don't have any refined sugar or anything. Um, let me see if I can find. Right here at the top are their ingredients, the cacao, unrefined coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is so good. It doesn't spike out your glucose. Cashew butter, cocoa butter, vanilla bean, and sea salt. And that's it for this one, for the cashew butter one. But they have a tons of flavors, as you guys can see right here. And these are for like, look, they just have a simple milk chocolate one. So these are so good. These are for like when you cook or, or you bake. So they have other options as well. This is also a good brand. I just don't like that they don't sell like separate like you have to get a whole box but this is also a good brand for those chocolates so whenever you're oh they do whenever you're feeling you know like you're craving get either evolved or hue for your chocolate cravings and then i like that for condiments they have a lot of um options too so chosen it's also good because they use a lot of um they use avocado oil for all their stuff they also have the primal Primal Kitchen always has so much stuff as well. This is the mustard that I tend to get. Then I love that Primal makes unsweetened ketchup. It still tastes good, so that's good options. And yes, they're a little bit more expensive here. So if you can find them at Costco or at Walmart, they're so much better. And then I usually, this is what I cook with, coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. That's also good. You can get it from Bragg's as well. So this is for $6.49, $6.49, you know the same price. I love that they have all this avocado oil or more options for you. Obviously, there's good and bad, like no good, but they have these and this is way cheaper at, at Costco Girls, so don't get it here, but they just have more options of all of this and they have more of this. This one too, you can get it at Costco for cheaper. They have more options, so I love of 
the glass bottles as well. Obviously, just read the description. This was very popular online, but it's kind of expensive as well. But you see all of this? Just so much more options for cooking oils. And then these are the dressings. We mainly just stick to Primal Kitchen because that's the cleanest. Uh, but we're just gonna get a new one. Which one, Chido? Well, not a new one, but like you can get Primal Kitchen or Bragg's. Basically, those are the cleanest ones. Yeah. Okay, he picked this green goddess. We haven't tried it so much. We like it, Chido. Oh, I already got some of the milk. You buy one, get one half off. These are also good. They're like the hot pockets or like the little pizza things that we grew up with. These are, there's a good brand, clean brand. They're $7.99 on sale right now. So you know, whenever you get a little craving or a little snack in between for the kids. And you guys already know that I love my Cosmic Bliss. And girl, I think the the one from Hailey Bieber is sold out. Look, but the, um, the grass-fed one tastes so good and the plant-based doesn't have cane sugar. So I love it. I love this one. Oh no, they have it here. This is the one from the Hailey Bieber one. But look, it's more expensive than the regular ones. But this ones are all so good. And these are the coke, um, the cones that we get. These are Bobby approved because they are made out of coconut sugar. These are so good. Huh, Chido? You, you love these? They just get, what did you say? Soggy. About they get soggy. We just love crunchy stuff. And this brand, actual veggies, they make sweet potato fries, this purple fries, and then regular potato fries. But look, they were on sale, so people took them. But that one is a really good brand. It's like, usually has protein, so it has other, other vegetables in there, so that's good. But this brand's also good. It's clean, and they taste so yummy when you um, put them in the air fryer. They have a lot of those sodas there, like um, Poppy and Olipop and stuff they have. Look, for me, those sodas are like tend to be kind of like a treat because they still have cane sugar. So you have to be mindful. Yes, they're a better alternative than like a Coca-Cola. But either way, they're still going to have cane sugar. So you have to be mindful of how often you have them and when you have them. Usually when I open one can, I'll have it for like two to three days. I know, and I'll just have it like that. But it just depends, you know, it definitely helps you kick the habit of like real soda. But they're good options, just be mindful that it still has cane sugar. And for we chose um, salad, we like to get the um, organic black beans and then the organic corn and that's part of his salad. I like those right now, they're three, four, five. For rice, I like to get this one, but I still have some. So I like to get the organic pastam rice, but they have a lot of good options for rice. And then for the salsas here, um, I like, you guys already know this one, the Siete, it was sold out last time, but this one's so good. Here's where they have their chamoy, so yummy, but they have a lot of options, you just have to read them, but I always just come back to this one. The spicy one is so good. And for the chips, they have a whole bunch of options. They like, I like that they have this one because you can get that for like lunch, you know, when you have a sandwich. They have a lot of these, which are also good. Just have more options again you just have to read the ingredients but you cannot go wrong with siete they even have these regular jalapeno lime and then they have like regular um chips over there so i that's just my go-to i tend to stick with them so here they kind of have the healthy options you won't find doritos or hachitos in this time but you know close enough to it um, you can find something <laughs> if you look. And then for this one, okay, Lizard Evil, they have different flavors. However, they tend to add um, like natural flavors in some of them. Except for this one. This one just has the coconut oil and then that's it. So this is my go-to. I like to get the little bag with, oh, this one. It's like a few of them, like maybe eight. And that's, again, it's like for a little snack or like lunch or like a sandwich. I like to get one of those. The other ones, you just have to read. Some of them do have um, natural flavors but the pink one the original you're good to go on that one so definitely way healthier options not all of them are perfect but there's still more options and not like those traditional nasty ones like the traditional bad chips for you you know so again you just have to read but they definitely have way more options that's why you know it's just become my my go-to store like look they had chipotle barbecue chips from siete these so good so 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 good so they have these buy one get one free right now so great time to try it they have a little section for dogs here but they don't have big bags um, and then we usually get our uh, dish soap here as well we just get this as we got last time it was on sale yeah that's really it right here oh and then I get my parchment paper here if you use parchment paper make sure that it's non bleach and this is the one that I get it should be brown the way the reason why you're 
parchment paper looks white is because um, they put chlorine in it to dye it and take out the brown, which that's what it's supposed to be, but they they do that. So make sure that you get that chlor the chlorine free one. Another thing that I love about sprouts is like this whole section of vitamins and like skincare, body care is they have vitamins here, the skincare on the other side. I love this section. You can walk through, you can read stuff. I get a lot of my vitamins here and my vitamin C I get here. Some of magnesium I get here. So there's always good stuff here to get. So I love if you walk through it, you find some good stuff since they have the body stuff and hair care on sale. They also have a protein. I don't know about this one. I haven't run it through the app, but some of these are approved, Bobby approved, like this one, Trevani for sure. They have other ones. Again, you just have to read. Not even not even protein powder is clean. Just Trevani for sure, but it's plant-based. I'm pretty sure if you kind of read through the ingredients, you can find another one, but they have all of this as protein, which is probably more clean than the ones you see out there. And this is our little haul, carrito lleno. Okay, so I have all my veggies and fruits here, and I'll walk you through kind of like how I have everything set up. Okay, you guys, I just put everything in the table. So let me just show you real quick. This is kind of like the refriger refrigerated area. So I'll walk through some of this stuff. Um, let me just show you the like the fruits and vegetables. It kind of just varies throughout the time, but I always like to have papaya. Wichiro loves apples and the bananas. Those are always in the same rotation. Right now it's nectarine season, so he got some of those. He takes these for his lunch. So his lunch snacks are carrots, a nectarine, a banana, and an apple. And then sometimes he'll take nuts. Those are his snacks that he'll have between breakfast and then after lunch for his 10 hour shift and then he'll have the salad that he got we got that and then he's going to have his meat with the sa uh, with his salad and then for me for dinner um i'll have chicken and then some asparagus and maybe some other vegetables that i have in the freezer so that's sort of what i got um, but these are always kind of the staples these i added the persian cucumbers i added this week for my lunch and then i always get uh, blueberries or strawberries and for breakfast i always do like mushroom spinach green uh, bell pepper cilantro kind of just mix it all zucchini for like an omelet and these over here are kind of things that last us more of a while and, and then not so much like for one week like obviously the produce and this it's like one week but this other stuff will last us longer okay so like i said some of this stuff um is going to last us like just the week but other stuff will last us longer so it was a total of 244 dollars i know it's still a lot for a family of two but again it's sort of like our weekly stuff but also stuff that we are like replenishing or stocking up that will last us longer and i feel like if we were just to get like weekly stuff like the veggies the fruits like the protein for the week and like maybe the yogurt and the eggs and the milk like i think that tends to be around 140 um and then the other 100 that we added today was for the stuff that will last us longer so Wichiro has been in the kick and he's been getting salad. So that's what I've been making him for lunch. So I'll just get the lettuce and then I do corn and I do corn and uh, beans. I know I can make these, but these are, these are good. They don't have anything added to them. So they're just, you know, it's sometimes it's just like whatever can make make your life easier and simple so can stuff it is just make sure that they don't have any additive added ingredients or natural ingredients or gums to it and you're fine i know that people say stuff about the can itself i'm okay with it for now and if i see an article that i'm like oh, okay then maybe i'll stop but for the meantime we're good with these they make life simple so he has lettuce corn and beans and then he has the shredded cheese and then he got that goddess dressing i only he wants to get like the olive garden italian one and i'm like no that defeats the purpose of me making you a good salad and you get a bad dressing so he's been sticking to primal kitchen he does not love them he tells me he doesn't love them but for the most part he's like eh, they're okay they're doable right so he gets one of these he just takes it to his work and then he just 
puts it whenever he eats the salad. And uh, that's basically it for the salad. And then I'll do the protein this week. He got como carne asada. He got Angus grass-fed beef flat meat, which I think this is carne asada. And some, some weeks he'll do chicken and other times he'll do salmon. So that's his lunch. And then for dinner, either he'll just have the pasta that we get from Costco with just tomato sauce and that's it or I'll make stuff. Like this last week, I made food the whole week. Then I'll get like a pack of like chicken for the week and then I'll just make stuff from here every day like with the pasta maybe or um, <clears throat> I'll just make it with some vegetables and like a sauce, something simple, you know? Um, I'll usually do that. And I, for since work, my lunch is really breakfast. I do more of a breakfast stuff. So I either do like a frittata. So that's why we have a lot of the breakfast items and then the vegetables for it. And the eggs because I'll make like a big frittata and then I'll just split it throughout my, the four days in the week that I work. And then the weekend I work one day. So that's usually what I do. Um, and then for my, for my daily snacks, it's either gonna be chia pudding or yogurt with toppings with with pumpkin seeds, um, some sesame seeds, and I have like, you know, just toppings that you put on your yogurt or your chia. And that's basically it. And then obviously my berries, I try to always eat blueberries because they're so good with antioxidants. So I try to eat those every day in my in my yogurt or chia pudding. So I'll do that as well. And those are kind of more like my snacks. Like I told you, Wichiro sticks to like a lot of fruits for his snacks and walnuts or cashews. And then I try to stick with more like this stuff. And also like I'll have my cereal or I'll snack on like this, the dry, the dry fruit. I really love this one. So I stick to this one. And the midday squares, these satisfy your craving and they're really good chocolate and functional bar. You get fiber and protein and this little bar is plant-based. Can't wait till they have them at Costco. They do have, they are gonna have them, but not yet. So these are good, they'll be like my another snack. And then my seven Sunday cereal with my raw milk, like I'll have that um, either in late afternoon or like let's say maybe like at seven I start feeling hungry, I'll have some. Or if I'm like, I need something quick and I need to go, I'll get cereal as well. And this one, it lasts you like about a week and a half, I would say. I know that you think raw milk, it'll go bad like in three days. No, like you just close it up really good, you put it in the fridge and it'll last you about a week and a half once you open it. And it's like any other milk, you just smell it if, you know. This one though, it comes with cream on the top. So you might look at it and you're like, Oh, I think it's raw. No, just smell it. It's more about smelling it. The cream, it always has the cream because that's raw milk. Um, but this one, yeah, last me. And I'm the only one that drinks it, uh, which he doesn't really drink it that much. Um, sometimes he'll put it in his coffee, mix it with creamer. If he has like a little bit of creamer left, he'll mix it a little bit. But other than that, he sticks with this creamer. And again, creamers, like they just have to have sugar, I guess, to make your coffee taste good. And they are kind of all bad because they tend to have a lot of gums and natural flavors. And again, you don't know where that natural flavor is coming from. So that's why we stay away from that. But this one doesn't have any natural flavors, but it has organic cane sugar. And it does have five grams per every one tablespoon. So it depends on how many tablespoons you put of creamer. But if you're gonna have five grams and that's gonna be your only cane sugar for the day, like you should be okay. Um, and that's kind of how I choose my sugar. Like I'm like, I need to have it in my coffee for at least like, even if it's just a tiny bit. And then I'll definitely monitor my sugar intake for the rest of the day and not have fake sugar um, or refined, super refined sugar, you know? Uh, because the ice cream that I have, I tend to get the one with coconut sugar. So, and those are only like when I have really cravings and it's really only during my period week that I get those cravings for ice cream. So I feel like, okay, it's like, and it's a small pint. So I like to have it there in the fridge. And then also another snack that I do, you know, if I'm either like in a rush or if I'm too lazy to cook, I'll have one of these with the sharp cheddar cheese and I'll make a quesadilla if I have steak i like to put some in there but for the most part like one of these tortillas with this cheese girl i'm good for a little bit while i need to do whatever it is i need to do or like let's say i'm doing a run in the afternoon but i'm getting a little hungry i'll eat one of these really quick before i do my run so i can have something in my stomach 
Um, but this is also a good snack and I love these tortillas. I also made breakfast burritos with these. So good. Um, and this, I'm sure I've talked to you guys about the coconut coat before. Um, I ran out of my, I had bought in a bigger jar and I, and I ran out. Like this one doesn't really like go bad per se because it's, it's a lot of, um, it, because it's coconut base. So it lasts you a while. Like this one, it says they are, there's eight servings per container and you get one tablespoon. You can measure it or you can just get a big spoon and then spoon it out and then eat it like that. You only need one tablespoon a day because this one has all these or all these strains of probiotic blend so it has so many that you only recommend to have one a day so i usually can't do kefir all that well so i like to get my probiotics in this and then i take my seed in pill form i mean i think that's you know that's a good balance of you know trying to have a good gut bacteria um, and this one I really like. It's so good. It doesn't taste like dairy or anything. So I like this one a lot. And then obviously our favorite milk, Raul loves this milk too. And he was picky at first. Uh, we get mock, which I love. I can't wait until they're in Costco. They're, they're supposed to have big jugs, two big jugs at Costco. Um, so I, we get vanilla and then we get unsweetened, kind of mix and match. Sometimes I make my matcha with this one. I'll mix a little bit of this and a little bit of the raw milk. Wichiro has his own milk with this. But but this stuff will last us a long time. Like the creamer, two to three weeks. This, two to three weeks because we got two. This one, it lasts me a whole month, this little jar. Um, and obviously the eggs will be like maybe two weeks. And this cheese two weeks these maybe two weeks depending on how much i eat um and then the salsa as well this is the salsa i put this thing on everything this one will last us a long time as well um and yeah so and then like my little snacky times and i'm like sometimes you know how you're like no más así no más like what can i have or when you know that time of the month these i got i picked up two of these i got the crunchy mint dark chocolate and the vanilla crunch it sound delish um i'll have these they'll last me a long time too because i'm the only one that eats them which you don't try them one time he's like that's nasty they're just like dark chocolate so they taste very strong and then i picked up these because these this is a new flavor the guayaba one and mango these are just like little gummies, you know, so I'll just have them. Sometimes you're just like munching at your house and you're in your house for a long time, which you shouldn't do as much. But if you're going to munch on something, at least let it be something, you know, healthy. So that's basically it. So yes, I know that it's a lot and it's only two of us, but some of these things are going to last us for a while. And then they're not just going to be like weekly. Like we're not always buying this part of the, of the table. Often we are doing the other stuff and since we do stick to mainly all organic fruits and veggies and then the meat, it does get a little pricey, but you know, you have to prioritize what is it that you like and I know that it's hard. So, you know, we all do what we can with what we have. So there's never no shaming or talking or anything of that here or over here or over there, you know. Um, I always say to start this journey of eating healthy one ingredient at a time. So try to start with that, eliminating one ingredient. Oils and refined sugar are almost in every single item that you eat and that you would have in your pantry. So maybe start with either refined sugar or your oils, get rid of all that stuff, then introduce another ingredient and slowly, but surely you'll have other stuff. And um, and I'm sure you guys saw my Walmart. I don't know when I'm gonna be posting this, but with the Walmart video that I posted before, there was a lot of options there. So definitely, like I said before, you can go to different stores. Like maybe you can have days where you go to one store and then you can figure it out like this. Obviously it takes a lot of planning and doing, but if your goal is to save money, that is definitely something that you can do, doable while still maintaining while still staying on your goals, but also getting all the new healthy alternatives 
foods for your house or your fridge and your pantry so definitely do go and again if you guys have any questions if you guys have any suggestions always leave them down below or dm me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i love going to the store and taking you guys with me and showing you guys all the stuff that i get um, but thank you for being here i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one bye